dedication, devotion into my heart for years. So now today, very special presentation. We're presenting not just an artist. We're presenting not just a poet. We're presenting not just an academician of two academies of arts and sciences. We're presenting not just a intellectual. We're presenting one with the rest. No, please. Excuse me. We're presenting one of the uttermost figures of our time. Why it is so? Because he's one of the last intellectuals, truly intellect, true intellectuals left in this world. We, our world is sinking in the waves of intellectual and spiritual degeneration, as you're all aware. People who read, people who write, people who draw, people who observe, people who think, people who compare, people who relate, people who correlate, who write everything down, catalogize everything, collect relics from space and time, two attributes of God is space and time. Space means you collect relics from ancient Indian civilization to ancient Japanese, Chinese, yellow and uh, red cap civilization, Zen Buddhism to ancient Russia to modern France, from modern America to ancient uh, Shambhala San, and this is Michael Yu. Historical I am personally, Michael says, I am extremely touched. I only want to be presented because he's been presented all over the world, but he only wants to be presented by Alexander Kalinsky. Of course, it's a very touching sentiment, but I am more touched than he is because I am really touched. I really admire this man. I adore him. He is last vestiges for our world. And people like this, we should treasure every minute being with him. And today, I am collecting his autograph. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Michael was born in St. Petersburg. Russia. Michael started in, in, in visual perspective, Michael started avant-garde art. He was one of the pioneers of avant-garde. Kanievsky, what is Kanievsky? Kanievsky is what Italian critic says. Kanievsky is a man who returns to Italy after 300 years, the art of Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, giving it more thought, new thought, new form, new imagination, new unique visions, etc., etc. So Kanievsky is different. What is Michael Yup? Michael Yup is zenith of contemporary art his most extravagant form because contemporary art by, by much was influenced by Picasso, of course, we know, 20th century. What did Picasso? Picasso, your simple example, took his bull, painted in classical sense, and then he started reducing this bull. Well, he doesn't need to have all his skin, he doesn't need to have all his hair, he doesn't need to have all his beard need to have all those uh, horns, and he doesn't need to have all his bones. So he's got, just got a little couple of uh, backbone parts and a little something, and that's still a bull. So that's contemporary art. And the zenith and apogee of this contemporary art is Michael Hugo. Avant-garde. In addition to visual expressions of Michael, Michael is absolutely a renowned poet. Michael's preferred language is a native language where he was born. Michael traveled all over the world. He lived all over the world. He is a world treasure, but he prefers to write still at his native tongue, Russian, and I give him absolutely liberty of doubt today that he should present his exhibition and present himself in his native tongue 
because this is the language that have bred Michael, have brought him to this world, have uttered, have ushered his articular creativity. And this is what we have today. Michael, you. The 14 languages that I used to speak. I speak all languages badly, but I'll try to present, to translate, Michael. What would you like to tell us? <laughs> tell anything. We're happy. <laughs> he says, let's show some of my works. He's the greatest poet, too, by the way. Yeah. I don't know. Pizza, pizza from the Pizza from the Ukraine. Let's from another time. Again, avant-garde art. Everybody sees whatever you guys wish. The main thing for him is the line and the color. Plus, plus my fantasy. Plus his fantasy, mm -hmm. and he calls this particular piece the, the landscape, da, da, da. paisage, landscape, da, da. from different dimensions, different, different universe, different, planet. different planets. So this is, yeah, this is what Michael sees. Yeah. All right. His, 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 his artistic movement is a starry vision, as he calls it. It's beyond limits of, of imagination, ordinary, and he sees sometimes these uh, beyond limits visions in his dreams. He jumps up in the middle of the night and he paints his visions and in the daytime he tries to make sense of them in the so-called, as he calls it, perspective, perfected form. Well, he says psychiatrists say that sometimes it happens to human beings. <laughs> This is, uh, this is characters of aliens as he sees them in his dreams and he paints them in the morning. Anything in this room? Okay, this one's. This one's. Okay. This is Michael? Michael? Sir? Yeah. And what kind of personality is this? What ah, so these two personalities, personalities, he calls them. He had seen in his dreams again, and then in the morning he paints them. And this one, Michael, I, I personally like this one. I think, I think because, because adding of flashy color makes these visions more palpable, more tangible, more real. Yes, color, exactly. Exactly. Right. Now, in this room also, because the second part of presentation today is presenting my collection of world artists. I want to pay attention in this room so we would not wish to come back because two 
levels in the gallery. We have second floor. The first floor will be too much to schlep around. Since we're already in this room, I want to show you also in this room we have unique Catherine Polaris. And in this room, and in this room we have Domenico Conforte. Domenico Conforte is academic, academician of Tuscany Academy of Fine Arts. You could watch Kanevsky Deus on YouTube, D-E-U-S. In that, in that world famous exhibition in Palazzo Griffoni, invented by Michelangelo Buonarroti himself. One hole was held by Domenico Conforte, another hole by Alexander Kanevsky, the national star of Italy and the international star, which the exhibition was supporting the world project of saving world's habitat. Mm which Italians are pioneering into. Yeah. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, jump in right any minute. I'm a remark. Go ahead. The two, whoops, the two personalities. Uh -huh. What are the two personalities? I really like the one on the left. So you I'm, like I'm which one? The one on the far left. On the very far left. Yes. Michael? Yep. Michael here? <coughs> question. Come on. My mom, as a matter of fact, she can translate. No, 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 no. Uh, thank you so much. My mom, I'm very way, sorry if I lost your mom. She, she is a, she, uh, okay. she is a, she was a big international translator of science. I used to be, no. Used to be. <laughs> science. So, Michael, David hmm. likes that piece. Me too. The piece in the far left. I'm curious ah, about the person. Well, on you got already two fans of that piece. Эта серия состоит из четырех работ, но я оформил только две, а две у меня с собой еще есть. Вот. Просто идет такое раз. Послушай, значит, идет развитие. Значит, сначала я вижу одного персонажа. Он тянет за собой следующего персонажа. И таким образом, значит. Ну, больше четырех я не делаю. И, или, значит, диптих, или триптих, или, э, или четыре работы делаю, такой квартир. Вот. И тема закончена. Я уже перехожу на другую тему. Что, вот эти, вот эти, да? Вот эти, да? Эти but well, Michael, any specific comments about that yeah. particular work? I'm curious what the personalities were. What is the personality on the left? What is that personality in the center? Well, это мужчина, это женщина. Man or woman? This is a man, yes. and in the center is a woman. Okay. И и они они ко мне явились во сне. Вот я вскочил и значит быстренько набросал рисунок а днем я это все декорировал все как говорится вырезал вот до графической точности до ювелирной точности переведи Michael, he, uh, David is interested yeah. to <coughs> see what kind of thoughts this character yeah. has, what is he <coughs> character-wise. Yeah. Uh, что он мам translated? Да, ну что ты когда краски вот такие вот ты подбираешь и все такое, почему именно? Они явились просто. Почему? Я их увидел. Нет, ну почему ты именно вот так рисуешь? Ну, во-первых, мужик не должен объяснять, что он изобразил. Начнем с этого. Ну, давай не будем грубыми. Почему грубые? Это не грубые, это естественно. 
не один художник не объясняет, понимаете, не один поэт не может объяснять. Это работа искусства. Это And uh, this happened to him, and he saw these images, and uh, he made them real. So this is the explanation. Yeah. Thank you. He sees them in the dreams. Anybody else anything about this? He started to draw them in detail and special colors that he imagined. This figure no, no, or personality or whoever he is painting, mm -hmm. that they should be like this. What he sees them in his dreams. I understand. You know, like this, this color, mm -hmm. this particular color. Mm -hmm. Why special color? Several colors, and why is it so? He cannot explain. He said, "I am an artist. I can't explain." Why this color is not that color, I but I see them in my dreams. And when I get up, I started to detail mm -hmm. what he says, mm -hmm. what colors, and all this. Why this? This was in his dreams. <laughs> That's the explanation. I get Can I, you get it? Yes, I, I, Thank I like you. it. Thank you. <laughs> Good. 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 Anything else in this room? Gotcha. And I want to, since we don't want to return to this room for the third part of today's event, which I to show you, as all people required and demanded, five paintings which remaining under my ownership are not given to universal patrimony. One painting is in this room, and this is vision of the, and this is Ezekiel, dated 1998. And this Ezekiel is under my complete ownership, and I keep it in the gallery. It's got about 338 billings. It's been in about 85 exhibitions all over, and, I, and this is one of five which I keep here. It's all about self-transformation. Ezekiel is a Jewish prophet, Jewish prophet, the author philosopher, who was prophesizing self-transformation. In 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 the in Bible, you read Ezekiel, and this thing was funny. I saw him in 1998. I was one of the performances in the Yale Repertoire Theater. I was off there playing Galileo Galilei, I remember. I was very bored, but then in the shade of light falling upon the stage, I saw this image, and the next day I painted it. All right. How long did it take you to finish? Uh, this one? Yes. I was painting very fast, but probably no longer than a couple of days. Wow. Yeah, but this is this is very old technique. 1998. It's my technique of that time. Okay, my friends. Next. Oh, I'm sorry. And, uh, we have Joe Esposito, curious enough, American artist. We have Joe Esposito. Guys, we have Joe Esposito, American artist, who is very interesting. He's a part of my collection. Very interesting history of Joe Esposito. He started out, and he was rising. Gilly, it would be interesting for you. Well, he was rising together with Andy Warhol. You all know Andy. Uh, there were Joe and Andy, two rising stars of what used to be called art in America in the 80s, when Ileana Sonnabend, Leo Castelli, A. Rose, Jackson Pollock, Andy Warhol, Bob Rauschenberg, etc., etc. 
So Joe was one of those stars rising and all of a sudden then something happened to him. He doesn't know what happened to him. He found me two years ago and he told me the story. But for about 25 years, Joe is living outcast. He showed me his work. I revived him. I made films of him. And Joe is now, I shouldn't tell you details. Joe is over, all over the planet. Joe Esposito, he gave me one of his very early works. It's very sentimental personally to him. It looks a little primitive, but it's still, he is a director of New Renaissance Division of Revival of Color in America. He's extremely colorful. Watch him out, Joe Esposito on YouTube. Joe Esposito, American artist. Oh, and here, but no, no, Daniela, please. I was going to talk about it. And this is my personal collection of Daniela Kanevsky. Daniela painted this at the age of eight. Beautiful. No, honey, it was you were eight. Last year. Last year? Ah, okay. So I'm wrong. Thank goodness we have Daniel. <laughs> this is painting of Zeus creating the universe. Am I right, honey? Zeus creating the universe. And Daniel painted it last year. And I'll show you some of other works of recent works of Daniel. The Italian Academy of Fine Arts extremely interested in Daniel. They prepared to give you a coefficient of quality, which are held practically only by dead artists, most famous, like Picasso, Van Gogh. Picasso has 60, Van Gogh has 60, Kanevsky Alexander has 500. But they prepared to give it to Daniela in a couple of years. Daniela is collected by museums and public spaces in Europe and the United States. You do. And the most important thing is that, not to boost about her because she's my daughter, but I see, I see that she's developing every day. She's reading much, and she's studying much, and she's drawing, and she draws from great masters. I'll show you her drawings from Rubens. And she's done raw drawings from Raphael. Good wow. job, baby. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. It's good to see you all, guys. Mm -hmm. Beautiful people, right? <laughs> you are beautiful. So, Michael, where would you like to start with your collection in this room? All right, so let's start with here. This is Michael. It's important in my voice, guys, by the way. I sound not as beautiful as always. <laughs> Michael, would you like to come with me, Sura? Mm -hmm. This is the landscapes from Mars. При том, при, том самое, при том самое интересное, они э, написаны недавно, а буквально через несколько дней американцы высадили спутник э, на Марс. И как-то мне это пришло, вот это, это совпало как-то очень интересно. Rover on on Mars after in several days after he painted it so it's kind of interesting. Как будто как будто понимаешь это было позывы из Марса чтобы я это записал. Ну да это вот это и каналы их это знаменитые каналы они выходят как черные и поскольку значит на Марсе вообще подозревается что есть какая-то растительность поэтому присутствует зеленый цвет. Ah because we suspect some vegetation presence on Mars. This is where the green color comes from. Вот. А это с другой планеты. And this is what planet is this? Желтая, может быть, какая-то желтая планета. Вот. Оттуда тоже, в общем, какие-то были позывы. No, Venus is white. Вот. Yellow, yellow. Yellow is no. Venus is yellow. I'm not sure. Что что? Anyway, this is another planet. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. good, good. Anything, yeah. any questions, comments on this it's one? David? Yeah. No. Thank you. Yeah. You are chief discussant today. Yes, can you tell us about the series? Ну, в неоформленном виде, вот лежат на столе, мы уже потом посмотрим. Now, do you have any more paintings in this room, on the wall? Нет, вот, вот еще там, видите, ah, okay. Okay. это чистая графика, mm -hmm. вот, это yeah, мужской женский персонаж. So, this is graphic work of Michael. С неизвестной планеты. This is graphic work of Michael, from undifferentiated planet, because schematically he wants to show his work connected to other planets. So this is graphic work from images from undifferentiated planets. Uh, pure graphic. I like this graphicism. What I like chiefly about this wall is Michael Yu corresponding to Daniela Kanisk. These are Daniela's recent drawings that when I was talking about. And she 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 drew both after Peter Paul Rubens which Daniela loves, by the way. He's my, one of her favorite artists. So this is Clara Sirena, am I right, honey? It's his daughter, Rubens' daughter, who died young. And this is portrait of? Just. Is it Helen? Fernier? Just a woman. Who, honey? Just a woman. Ah, just portrait of a woman. So anyway, this is beautiful wall. I'll take picture. Yeah, Michael Yu and Daniela Kaneski. <laughs> Sensation. <laughs> Sensation. <laughs> you guys, yes. <laughs> yeah, take picture of Michael and Daniela together. <laughs> and then we'll do it. Now, what do we have? What do we have in this room from other artists? Oh, this, by the way, is my personal collection of Michael Yu. And Michael, Michael have painted it how many years ago, Michael? No, don't put say it. Darling, please. Do you remember? No, <laughs> in the 80s. In the 80s. In the Vienna. In Vienna. In Austria. In Vienna, Austria, he painted it. This is Tatiana Slavinska. Very big right now. Uh, this is... I don't know this artist, I still can't find out who he is. Part of my collection, I just love this landscape. Uh, da, who she is from Kirsten, right, from Denmark. Danish artist Kirsten Hurst. American, 15 years old artist. Now very famous, Catherine Cosgrove. She was completely, absolutely nobody, 15 years old. Once I decided the piece of Talented, it's now very famous, together with the name of Catherine. Jenny Pompa, a very renowned Italian artist, and he is a founder of this 3D style of painting trees. Mm -hmm. By application to each leaf, separate piece of color. Jenny Pompa. Alessandra Trani. Originally, he's a, he's an attorney from Rome. He started painting later on. He became famous. And this is another unique moment of contemporary art. Once you develop, it doesn't matter how you paint, what you paint, etc., etc. It matters if you find something that nobody has done before. And Alessandro Trani has found it. It's Line of Horizons. And he paints it in different colors, you see? Mm -hmm. You got, you, if you see the whole collection of Alessandro Trani, it's <coughs> different colors above and below. We have Patrizia Canola, Italian painteress. She also likes to paint trees. And uh, in her collection, her trees are rather philosophical and reflect upon human spiritual states. And this is, uh, also, he is a professor of, he is Tuscan of Florence, Florence, Mauro mm -hmm. Capitani, right? Mm -hmm. You see him all, in all major catalogs, uh, one of the best collected artists in the world, professor of Florentine Academy of Art, Mauro Capitani, one, one of his, so he paints in many, many styles, unique. When he was 13 years old, he presented his works to Picasso. 
and Picasso was 93 years old, and he said, good work, keep painting, young man. And Maurer, mm -hmm. <laughs> in his monumental exhibition, Palazzo Ducale, was extremely proud to show everybody this work. He's about 65 now. So this is, do we have anybody else in this room? Uh, we have Andrea. Another accomplished, very accomplished Italian artist, Ida Claude and Medarini. You want to guys look at this piece? Over here. And we have Ida Claude. We have another, we have Tatiana Slavinska. If you, this one, isn't it pretty? Actually, yeah. Catherine, I'll tell you, she'll be thrilled because she was presented sometimes after you here and you were her idol. She was talking so highly about you, Tatiana. And then Tatiana also, I mean, you two guys, Catherine Tavares, Tatiana Slavinska skyrocketed within 10 days after the presentation of this gallery. Uh, she, Catherine is an idol now, Tatiana is getting there. And in fact, already people who sold, uh, who bought Clint for 135 million, they are already calling on Tatiana because she may be an in reincarnated Gustav Clint. Did you watch that presentation, my of Tatiana? Unfortunately, no. Watch that film, yeah. And Tatiana is not film. Present, uh, you go, Kanievsky presents on YouTube, and watch how I presented Tatiana. And presentation it reveals that Tatiana was born exactly on the same day in the same year with Gustav Klimt. Gustav Klimt, you know, yes. Gustav Klimt. Uh, so, no, no, one uh, one hundred years apart, Tatiana didn't know Gustav Klimt, the famous. He was German or Austrian? Austrian, Austrian. Austrian. So uh, she, she didn't know about him until she was about 18 years old and she was already a painter. All of a sudden somebody said, it looks like Klimt to me. And she said, I don't know who that is. Oh, you don't know Klimt, this is Klimt. She, yeah, really amazing. So this is how then she began studying that Klimt. And she sees exactly the same birthday, exactly the same year, about 100 years apart. So I said, Tatiana, maybe we're dealing with reincarnated Gustav Klimt. And Gustav Klimt was sold for 135 millions recently. So, but then somebody already saw that presentation. And, uh, and they already, because one film presentation gets five thousand views within a couple of days in my gallery. So somebody watched it and already calling on Tatiana. Anyway, this is Daniel Klein, also an American boy. American boy. Or just like Catherine Cosgrove. There's nobody. Never exhibited, unknown to anybody. Nobody knew that uh, Daniel is painting. But then Daniel presented to me and I thought this is also an interesting contemporary thing. I mean, again, you, you guys see whatever you see. Yeah, Daniel is very popular right now. Still going his... Now, oh, funny story about Daniel. Daniel was coming to Lambertsville Gallery trying to get them exhibit his work. And they said, and okay, you can send us your slides. So Daniel then sent them the slides and they, nobody returned back to him. Uh, after about some time after his first painting presenting and uh, Daniel went so high up that Lambertsville Gallery called him asking to exhibit. Can you exhibit with us then? And then said, hey listen, I am now in New York and I was presented, I was presented, I curated by Kanevsky. So if you pay me, he calls me and said, how much should I ask him? So I said 50,000. He asked him to pay him 50,000 to exhibit him, and they did. Yeah, so, no show, but it's called all called contemporary art. And uh, do we have anything? No. So this is another painting, number two of mine, which is 
not part of universal patrimony, remains under my ownership, called Queen Esther. I painted it after I was a guest star at Sundance. I came to back to the gallery, followed by a troupe of filmmakers, including Annie Bernard, son of Tom Bernard, president of Sunny Pictures Classic. And Eddie Bernard is Cyan Entertainment. This is who makes movie stars in Hollywood. Jim Franco, all his names are raised by Eddie Bernard. Eddie Bernard was feeling, he said, Alexander, please paint something, I want to film it live. So I painted it within 35 minutes in the initial form. Eddie made film, which you see within three minutes. A year ago, I went to Paris, uh, print signing for Paris and they took me to entertain me to some bar. And the young people were watching a crowd of 150, 200 young people in that bar were watching that film, Kanievsky painting Queen Esther on the big ceiling of the bar. So painting extremely popular. That film is extremely popular. You watch Kanievsky Queen Esther, how I created it. Now I don't give it away. It's, it's the second painting in this gallery, which are under my complete ownership. Do I have anything else in this? And this is also under my complete ownership, but for another reason. I don't know if I would give it away, but the, but the painting got damaged during transportation. So I don't give, if it wasn't damaged, I would think give it away or not give it away. This is Yellow Emperor, so we got three paintings. And this are not, this are not. And, and this one, Eliza, is a fourth. It's called Cabella. <coughs> this painting has, requ has bequested <coughs> 852 biddings throughout the history. Shown, it's shown world over. It's extremely famous. Uh, probably one of the face hallmarks of Kanevsky, called Kibela, Mother of God. I don't give it deliberately away to anybody. It's a wonderful piece. Yeah. And it's painted about 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago, by acrylic on wood. Most of these works that you see are oils. Now, I don't, I'm not taking you on the second floor. There is a fifth painting called Evolution. You also can see it on YouTube. It's there, uh, which is not given away. It's called Evolution. So these are five paintings. Uh, what I wanted to say, what do I wanted to say? Oh, I want to present to you a couple of more things. First of all, we have in this together with us very talented artist, Ilya Lerner. Ilya. I asked him to bring today one of his pieces to show in situ. Are we ready for this, Ilya? I couldn't bring a large one. It's no, no, it's fine. Of... Bring a small one. A couple of presentations in situ, just for excitement. Mm -hmm. And he's truly, he's very talented. Mm -hmm. This? Absolutely, absolutely. This is interesting. And this is my most recent self portrait. Mm -hmm. Here you stand Look over there, honey. Look at this. I Bravissimo. Stand over there, sir. Okay. Ilya, tell us where we were. <laughs> okay. Ilya, attention please, ladies and gentlemen, my friends. Ilya was born in Moscow. So we have today two people Russian born. One from St. Petersburg, of uh, the famous legendary Makhlyu. And we have uh, Ilya Lerner today, who was born in Moscow. Ilya, this is, can I touch it? I, I have a nice shaved. oils technique. I mean, look at this. 
I mean, this is very professional. Very. Yeah, Come, yeah. guys, closer. You this can look so at it. Because it's important yeah. to look at the texture. Mm -hmm. Texture. Self portrait, right? Yes. yes. I grew I much saying, longer yeah. beards. Uh, yeah. 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 It reminds me of two paintings of Velazquez. Velazquez, the face of Spain, have painted himself in 1635 in a painting called Las Lanzas, or Surrender of Beda, when he was about 35, 36 years old, versus he painted himself one year before his death in 1659 in a painting called Velazquez and the Royal Spanish Family, because he was a prime artist for the courts, Spanish courts. And there is different Velazquez. If you compare two paintings, it's completely different man. If you compare me and me 25 years ago, they also completely different men. But, Ilya, this is great. Compliments. Do we have anything else with you? Yeah. So huh? this is can oil, you, right? Yes, can you show us something? Yeah, I see. I have got interest. Huh? That's very interesting. I only have a print. This is uh, Ilya. You got time hold time on a go? second. Oh, hold yeah. on before you show oh, this. Yeah. You got a great compliment today. Thank you. Daniela said no, to me, "Daddy, it's really good." And then I reproduced the study and went over study with oil, you know, so it's oil on photographic paper, it's called yeah, Centaur's Dance yeah, Tango. Yeah, very nice, very nice, yeah, very nice. Thank you. And here I see, like, almost shark-like big monster. When see did that? you paint it? Uh, 2007. And uh, to, to mm. apply oil on photograph is yes. rather extravagant. That's all I have. That's all I have. That's all I have. Now, excellent. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely great. So, Ilya Lerner. What's um, what's yeah. Ilya? Ilya Lerner, L-E-R-N-E-R. -E mm -hmm. So we have, yeah, we have familiarized ourselves with, with a very good artist today. Thank, yeah, you. thank you so much. I'm very touched. I'm personally very touched. Daniela. Did you live before in uh, Boston, you said? Yes. Right? Possibly. Really? Mm -hmm. For a long Did you have any exhibitions or something there? Yes, of course. Of you course. did? Yeah. Uh, I lived in uh, New York, Boston, and Houston. New York, Boston, and Houston. Huh? You lived in New York, Boston, and Houston. And Houston? Houston yeah. especially. And there were now, you my friends, you I am not a vendor. I don't sell art, uh, but I think I just I just encourage you to think about not encourage, in case somebody would like to have historical relics, and of, of course Aurelia will talk possibly later, uh, because somehow however, it feels to me that Ilya he touches my vagaries, and we might do something in the future. With Ilya. Uh, but today, the master of it, of course, and the celebrity. But and the we, star we should invite is, you. you. Oh, yeah, you, you always will be loved here. Too, I Ilya. mean, you maybe will to be make always loved here in this gallery. Sure. We'll think about. So today, since we are with Michael, and we don't know whether we would be with Michael again uh, or how soon. Etc. Etc. Because life is unpredictable. What's happening tomorrow, we know not. So, if anybody wants to have to acquire any piece of Michael, certainly talk to me or to Michael. It's uh, it's certainly up to you guys. Just food for thought. Michael is a very good poet. Wonderful. Uh, Michael, 
He would recite but, something for Michael. Michael, but Ma Michael, would you like to recite any of your original pieces? But you remember how Mandelstam was reciting his verses in Georgia? And Georgian did not understand one single word, <laughs> and they were paying him for each recital with a cup of coffee. No, a little bit. Немножко ты можешь почитать, они с удовольствием посмотрят. Он очень хороший парень. Он came to London, <laughs> to London, and Peter Brook gave him an opportunity to do 14 performances of Shakespeare <laughs> in London. <laughs> Mom, one second. <laughs> Mom, one second, please. <laughs> Mom, please, one second. Excuse okay, me, one sorry, second. Sorry. And Peter Brook gave him opportunity to do 15, 14 performances of Shakespeare. They put this poets <coughs> first into the ears. And, uh, and uh, British refused. They said, listen, we know Shakespeare. We'd like to listen in Georgian language. And they heard 14 <coughs> performances of Shakespeare in, in Georgian language, Peter Brook writes an article in London Times. Indeed, Georgians came to England to finally learn, to finally teach us how to play Shakespeare. <laughs> so, Michael, if you'd like to recite in Russian like music to our ears, go. Okay. Oh, okay. At least one or two verses, shall? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, you talk to my mom later. A little bit. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. Today is necessary. Today is Saturday. Saturday. You don't need to feed the meter. I don't know. No, I'm not sure. Natalie, do you think he should feed his meter now? Do you think he should feed his meter? So, and then, guys, after Michael have recited a few of his verses, we still can continue discussion, questions, etc., etc. Nobody's talking. All right, silence. Michael, one second. Michael will recite two of his poems in Russian. But what about? It doesn't matter. Everybody holds grasp of it. And as a matter of fact, Kelly, would you like to recite some of your poems? Beautiful. Kelly, I'm sorry, honey. Jesus Christ, excuse my sins. I told my sins. No, Michael, first. Ну вот стихотворение так бы называется "Увлек былое" Жан Филипп Рамо. Это французский композитор и так далее. Отполированная иметь рассвета на живописи луч отражена мечтательные мелодии мотета в котором синева растворена, прислушиваясь к музыке природы, где все бы как бы свершается само, перебирает клавесинные аккорды блистательнейший Жан Филипп Рамо, прозрачные балетные сюиты, рассветная преобразила медь, как будто музыкальные молитвы раскинули серебряную сеть. Как будто дорогие безделушки пленили отражением тру трюмо. Да нет же, это курицы пеструшки играет пьесу Жан Филипп. Рамо, о консонансы клавесинных звуков, отполированная радость и печаль несется из парижских переулков эпоха в перламутровый Версаль на переливчатую метра света накинут серебристое ермо мечтательные мелодии матета увлек в былое Жан Филипп Рамо. Some French composer. We don't understand words. What all this is about? We know it's about French composer, but the music of the verse is apparent, right? About the composer. Yeah. What do you think, Kelly? I could hear the uh, I mean, I mean Kelly. Kelly is a uh, famous American poetress. Oh, okay. Kelly, Kelly Hardy. Her poetry is really exquisite. In fact, in fact, I asked Kelly to publish you of your poems on my Facebook, and you could guys read it on my page. 
So, but Kelly, I would like to know your opinion. What, what, what do you feel when you hear this? It felt romantic. In a language that you don't know. It felt romantic to me. It felt like there was some sort of romance. When he was rolling his R's with the names, that was the only part I could understand. She feels this is romantic. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I could feel, I could feel that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, how do you feel? How do you feel? Thought it was very yeah, powerful. I want to know. I want to know a opinion of a famous artist, Kelly Collins. I mean, it felt very powerful. To me. How the artist feels about it? Powerful. She feels powerful. <laughs> Power. What? No, it's kind of power. <laughs> power. Power. He knows. Michael. Power. Michael knows every language. He okay. knows. So, and then I would like to pick one of you guys if possible to allow me. Tom. So, how do you feel? What do you feel when you listen to this? Well, I don't know. It's not language, language that you know. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. I just felt an intensity. Uh -huh. He felt intensity. Passion. Passion. Intensity and passion. Passion and trust. Passion and trust. Okay. Well, thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did I leave you guys out? Would you like to hear the same? No. 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 Georgia, Republic of Georgia with us today. Former Soviet Union. Well, Republic of Georgia, it's not state of Georgia, right? Michael has a special verse called Georgian Romanticists. О чем ты утрачена в детстве, болит душа, у шатару старели. Пугливые тени с жужжанием ос застыли, как юные девы. Задумчивый важа пшавела принес хевсурской арагвы напевы. И где здесь начало, и где здесь конец в затишье грузинского вида, вот орбелиане вахтанга. Венец, вот Бараташвили, Мтацминда, Миражи и Пох, в лучезарной дали, курой мутноглазый блестели, и горы белели у края земли, и грусть навевал целители грузинских романтиков. Песня звучит, о, жалкая наша свобода, затишье. И солнце нещадно полит, и тащится в город под воду. Сходит тема с фрески Джорта. Норовец свести с ума, ты ли это, или кто-то нимбом высветил дома, Тяжелы под снегом крыши с флюгерами прошлых дней, ты ли это, или мыши зашуршали у дверей, Что-то рвет меня на части, заставляя быть другим, ты ли это, или счастье, что я комнатой любим, Что, читая строки блока, звук доносит голоса? Ты ли это, или только улыбнулись мне глаза, Светлой музыкой поземка напевает о былом? Ты ли это, незнакомка, промелькнула за окном? За окном печные трубы, за окном деревьев ряд, ты ли это, или губы зимним солнышком горят? Now, Gary, please, please.
legs. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Like to sell it. Yeah, my friends, very good. Very they should good. be shown somewhere, a big audience, you know. Hillary's uh, impressive poetry. Thank now, you. Kelly, Kelly, renowned American poetess. She is amazing. I love Kelly's poetry. Kelly, I'm so touched <coughs> by your presence here today. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Take, take time, honey, with you, please. Be, make us happy. Help. Okay, I wrote your poetry this. Recited. I wrote this. Um, my brother committed suicide four years ago, and I draw a lot from my emotions when I write. So, I wrote this about a month ago. It's called "Running Out of Ink." It's been four years since you died. Yes, I'm yes. running out of paper and ink. I wanted to move on and I tried, but it's harder than you think. It's no wonder that I can't sleep. The price was just too high. Sorry, I'm nervous. No, <laughs> the price know. was just too steep, and we will never know why. I begged and begged and I cried. It provided grief. It provided nothing. I fought. I pleaded. I tried to hold on to something. And I was up late at night thinking. The weight of the gravity just sinks me. The fate of your death, your fall, brings me. No relief at all, it has singed me. There'd be no sorrow, there'd be no end. There'd be tomorrow, there'd be no death. If I could only, with my paper and my pen, if I could only write an entirely different end. But alas, I cannot change it, it just cannot be. It will not change, it will forever stay this way. You were not meant to live, not meant to see, not even one more breath, not even one more day. You were not meant to live, not meant to breathe, so I'll mourn your loss, and yes, I will grieve. If only in this world, in this world we could weave dreams of the departed so that departures would never be. It's been four years since you died. I've run out of paper and ink. I wanted to move on and I tried, but it's harder than you think. Thank you. It's most evolving for me when I hear your poetry, I read your poetry. It's such a crystallized honesty. Yeah. And this honesty is not made over. This is honesty the way you feel with your heart. Yeah. Put it on this paper. Mm -hmm. This is nothing refined. This is nothing, oh, I work for every word. No, it I just, just comes kind of straight it. from your heart. Yeah. It's like, to me, it's like a bit of a, of a, of the, uh, of a knife into your heart, straight. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard things like that before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have one more that I wrote. It's a little more fun. Um, I wrote it while reading Edgar Allan Poe. He's one of my favorite poets. Who? Edgar Allan Poe. You like Edgar yeah, Allan Poe? Yeah, I love Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, Allen. he's great. Um, this one's called Death Rides. I wanted to live forever, but I faced defeat. For death rides to dissever my soul away from me. Poetic justice gathers over and around my fingertips, but death says he'd rather seal the breath from my lips. Terror grips and haunts me. I feel it running deep. Tremors rip and taunt me for the secrets that I keep. A soul down to nothing, wildly I float, gripping onto something, death ensures I choke. It's a little morbid. <laughs> it's a little morbid. <laughs> but, um, and then I have one more that I wanted to read. It's about a girl who, uh, she just doesn't see how much potential she has. She has so much potential. Um, everyone around her can see it, but she just doesn't see it, so. It's called All That Fire. She walked down the street, air cold upon her cheeks, lips chapped, chest tight, eyes squinted at the light. She was able to see everyone in the world but me. Hair, long, curly, and fine. Eyes, just as old as time. Jeans, sneakers, and a tee. Heavy heart, in need of sleep. Skin, porcelain as a doll. Strangers stop and revel. But she remains unaware, too concerned with what isn't there. Mousy hair, cool gray eyes, rosy cheeks, no alibi. Such sadness hidden in her smile. I wish she'd look up once in a while. But she must work until she's done. She just can't see that I'm the sun. I only want to shine my rays, head in the clouds, eyes ablaze. She has this fire everyone sees, but her mind is just too damn busy. And the whole world feels so dizzy. She's overwhelmed, scared, and confused, worn out, broken down, full of doubt, abused. Her heart's been broken a time or two, and that's why she'll never trust you. 
The day has been long, time to retire. Poor girl, what a shame she had all that fire. Do you want to comment? Um, well, my favorite one was the Edgar Allan Poe one, for sure. Yeah. That one. Cool, I like that one a lot, too. There was a particular line you said uh, that you put in there. Oh, death steals something from your lips. What the heck was that? Death steals the breath from my lips. First thing that came out of my mouth, and no matter what, was my breath, actually. I said, that bastard. Damn good one. Thank you. I appreciate mm. that. Um, I have this last one I wrote. It's kind of like, I should have read it first because I wrote it about myself. Um, uh -huh. But uh, it's called Girl Picked. I, it was one of the first ones I wrote after like 15 years of having writer's block. So. Um, she said books and books of poems and stories. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and then she stopped for a long time. But yeah, I know. She wrote a lot, but years. thank you. But she she is from you. It's really I treasure. Books, books and books. And books. It's treasure. It's treasure. Yeah. It's treasure. Yeah. It was. To hear it from you, it's treasure. It's really yeah. remarkable. I've always yeah. wanted to share it's with you. Share them more with everyone. But yeah. I didn't even share with him until a couple months ago. Uh -huh. I didn't even let him read my work. So I have a lot of Once stuff. in a blue moon, I'd get uh, something. Is that right? Okay, I am the girl that loves silence, but is scared by its violence. I'm over and done. I am the girl that runs. I am scared by the night, but oh, I hate the light. I hate to love and love to fight. I love to hate and fight to win. I am a girl not right. I am a girl with sin. I am blinded by the wind. I struggle not to give in. I feel so fallen, but destiny is calling. I am broken and bawling. I am just trying to survive. I am a girl not fully alive since the day that he died. I am a girl that has tried, a girl that has survived. I am filled with despair. I no longer care. I'm coming up for air. I am worse for wear. I am weak and strong. I am right and wrong. I am not okay, not good. I am afraid and misunderstood. I am quiet. I am quick. I am the girl that God has picked. Beautiful. I'm sorry? From the beginning. From the beginning? Oh, okay. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I am the girl that loves silence, but is scared by its violence. I am over and done. I am the girl that runs. I am scared by the night, but oh, I hate the light. I hate to love and love to fight. I love to hate and fight to win. I am a girl not right. I am a girl with sin. I am blinded by the wind. I struggle not to give in. I feel so fallen, but destiny is calling. I am broken and bawling. I am just trying to survive. I am a girl not fully alive since the day that he died. I am a girl that has tried, a girl that has survived. I am filled with despair. I no longer care. I'm coming up for air. I am worse for wear. <coughs> I am weak and strong. I am right and wrong. I am not okay, not good. I am afraid and misunderstood. I am quiet. I am quick. I am the girl that God has picked. That was more autobiographical. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. I appreciate I will take all notes. I will take your autograph. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. I was prepared to take you only Michael's autograph today. Yeah, it's very but good. But I will also take yours. And well, I'll thank take you. <laughs> I have Catherine's photograph. Hopefully it'll so be worth something. Are you a painter too? Oh, no, it's the photo. Yeah, I can relate. Kelly, Kelly. He's a very good Kelly. 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 Why I'm so much in love with Bella. <laughs> Bella is not only beautiful, she is super intellectual stop woman. It, stop it, stop it. I revel. I when I talk to you? Bella, I revel with every word spoken. Where? I'm not printed yet. <laughs> and yet. Bella, and Bella is very oh, touched by this. Yes, last, yes. Last, yes. Last I've only been at it a few months, actually. 
You started writing. Well, I started writing when I was around nine years old, but I had I stopped writing for most of my adult life. Mm -hmm. So um, I just started up again probably six months ago, seven months ago. So mm -hmm. everything I have is handwritten. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so yeah. It's all handwritten. Well, ты поняла что? Она нигде еще не печатается, у нее все. It's a Prometheus. So can I dare you to recite it? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. It's a little more. Um, Lively. This is the uh, poem that is inspired she by Prometheus Unbound. To one of my paintings called Prometheus Unbound. Yeah, it's the one I so it's Russia, so Michael Russia. knows every language. He yeah. knows English so better than I do. Он попросил. Сейчас не хорошо, потом. So now preparing to conclude, right, my friends? Anything else we should talk about? Answer questions for Ah, uh, that's right. Kelly will be right after she is done, right? I don't know okay. if it'll come up. Anybody can go ahead because I, don't, I have to pull it up on my phone. Ah, uh, so we can discuss long. something else while she is preparing here, to find you know? the poem. The signal here is not very good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so, but maybe next time. Yeah, yeah, maybe next time. Next time we can have an uh, evening for poetry and. and Art together. What we, can, uh, we are proposing an evening of poetry and art together next time. Oh, by the way, guys, before I forgot, starting January, pr uh, practically once a month in this gallery, we're planning, and it's requested, as I told you, it's requested by Italy, it's requested by lots of other countries. They want to see on YouTube Kanievsky con art conferences. So uh, there will be chairs in this room, and we'll be discussing one painting, sort of brain brainwashing. Everybody would like to participate. Brainstorming. Welcome to brainstorming, brainwashing. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the world. Welcome to the world of rain, right? Uh, so, <coughs> so I'll let you know, guys, when the events will be. You guys all welcome to attend. Each one of them will be, of course, filmed and shown world over, each event. So, welcome, guys. Love you all. Welcome to come to this event. So, Kelly, you ready? Yeah? It's not coming up on my phone. I have, uh, I have another yeah. one that is inspired by the Greek gods, if you guys want to hear that. It's about uh, Zeus trying to uh, lure a young girl mm -hmm. over to him. It's called look -see. That is what Zeus does. Yeah. <laughs> there is the girl with red hair. He does. Tragically and awfully, she is too far over there. Girl, come here. Let Good us job. see. Bring yourself uh, closer to me. Uh, Kelly, Daniela is asking, is this something that you're talking about Europe? No, Greek mythology. I'm Greek mythology, you're right. But Zeus stealing Europe. No, you know, Zeus, Zeus killing a young girl. Right, but Zeus carried Europe upon uh, one, oh. when he converted into the bull. He carried Europe through the waves mm -hmm. on oh, his back. That yeah, oh. that's mythology. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, so she was wondering if this is related. Yeah, sorry, I, this is not Possibly a Possibly not, right? It's Possibly, awesome. yes. Girl, come here, let us see. Bring yourself closer to me. I am darkness, you the light. Now come here, no terror nor fright. Come spend the night, it'll all be all right. Girl, can you hear? Girl over there, girl with red hair, come nearer. I need to see you clearer. Quit quipping and deliver. Clever girl won't turn, she'll soon shiver. Look up, girl, do as I say, for we shan't delay. Can't you hear the echoing? It's calling you, beckoning. Can't you hear? Can't you get a clue? Is your brain dead? Is it stewed? Or maybe brand new? Now look what you've made me spew. Look here, girl, looky loo. Look here and there, too. Just crane your neck, let's see you react. You fill me with spite, your love is not requite. And surely that burns, it's hard to discern why you won't let it be. 
why you won't come closer to me so that I can have a quick look see. Wow. No. No. He was trying to pull her over. It's actually called look see. Yeah, who's pulling Come on. Kelly. Kelly. Oh, okay. I have Prometheus. Is there Woo. one? Yes, okay. I'm flattered, yeah. Okay, a conversation between Prometheus and man. I have fire, I have fire. Stop and admire, admire. And then it's a dialogue. Where, where, can I see? Have you brought it for me? No, sir, this is for mankind to use for all of time. I am man, I am kind, I am worthy, you will find. Your greed is apparent, though, so your eyes shall not bestow. Give it to me, give it here. I am mankind, this isn't fair. Fair or not, you've shown yourself. Now stop, you don't deserve the wealth. But I am in need, need, and please do not take heed, not of me. I need the fire, you see? You say you need, need, not to take heed? Your word I don't believe. Your words lance me, let the fire enhance me, let it entrance me, romance me. Here you are then, do your very best. A heathen you've been, so the flames will glow less. So the, I wondered too, um, you know, I just completely drew a blank on what I was going to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I wondered if he felt like his sacrifice was worth it. And, you know, did we get the most out of the fire that we could have because we are greedy? As as he, he was able to escape when he was able, instead of fighting these demigods and titans for mankind, mm -hmm. was able to master a feeling of love. Once he learned even to love that eagle that watched ah. over him, they fused because, as you see, their body actually fusing mm -hmm. in that painting. Yeah, yeah that's really yeah. nice. Yeah, that's a real image of Prometheus to show. Well, that looks familiar. Universal patrimony. I will remain this painting under my own. From, you can learn it also from watching all these TV productions on YouTube. When I appear in Italy, I get confronted by 40 TV channels right away. And every channel is asking me, what's the secret of your technique? Not to brag about myself, but if you take this painting, you would understand. This is no chemistry. The texture, Chinese, are, are, are pulling their hair away. They try to get the technique. And they can't. But the uh, answer to this is Kanyansky developed technique because he never went to art school. <laughs> you wanna, That's amazing. You, don't touch it, but just yeah, you, you, you can look at it in a slow, <laughs> close distance, pass it around. Last year. Last year. And this is small quote, small painting. Daniela would like to recite a part of her verse. She's oh. very inspired by Kelly today. Nice. Who's That's verse? Daniela created her own verse, and she'd like to recite a part of this verse today in front. She is inspired by Kelly, and she, I think she's very happy today. Okay, and she is, of okay. course, very inspired by Michael. The poem is called Books. Books are wonderful to read. They can do the greatest deed. Teach us goodness of the heart, take the evilness apart. Give us hope when it is dark, guide us through Noah's Ark. Through the forest of the night, books are here to have no fright. Into the oceans, into the seas, at least one book is what you'll need. All those things the book can do, but remember, so can you. And she can, um, um, it, it really helps you write and you can put your stuff out there and you can get reviews back and stuff.
Michael, Michael, there is a question for you. Michael, a oh. question for you. Okay. I have a question. Okay, this, this piece here. Yes. A lot of your art, to me, has a medicine feel. Это большое количество твоего искусства для него А он чувствует себя немножко испуганным, немножко как это встреченный некоторой волной чего-то такого неописуемого, неожиданного, которое, да, которое несет с собой что-то непредвиденное и даже страшноватое для него. Не может быть, у меня что-то положительная энергия. He says it cannot be. He has only positive energy. I know exactly what he is feeling. To me, this particular one looks like a coat of arms, like a shield. Like a stylized coat of arms. This one, it looks like a coat of arms. Code of arms. How do you say in Russian code of arms? Code of arms. Like a family's crest for war. Right, I understand. Like a flag. Gerb, gerb. 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 Even the the male the male image you have over there on personalities looks like a stylized soldier to me. Там вот этот вот мужчина, который у вас на стилизованном, он похож на, he looks like what soldier? Like a stylized soldier. Как солдат заставший. Или стилизированный солдат. Спасибо. Это идея, что они есть. Они же, они... Я люблю историю. Я думаю, что я очень хочу знать больше о этом. Я люблю историю. Ты очень специальный. Michael just recited a verse in Spanish. In another poem, he said, Con los pobres de la tierra quiero yo y su arte echar, y el arroyo de la sierra me complace más que el bar. One of my projects for the future is to perfect my Spanish, so I, Michael, so I can translate from Tirso de Molina. To me or not to me? I have no more questions. Are you satisfied? Now, the last, Rachel, I want to take some photographs today, personally.